Yeah, I don't know really what to say. Um, pretty down for these kids. Obviously, we didn't play well enough to win, didn't coach well enough to win, and, and uh, I'll always put that on me. I thought um, turning the ball over three times in the second half changed the game uh, in their favor. <clears throat> I hate it for these seniors, great group of young men, and we didn't get it done. And you had Boston College some credit. At the same time, we had plays there. We got stuffed on fourth and one on the goal line in the first half. thought Drake made a fantastic play. Um, disappointed that a flag was thrown on a play like that. thought it was a bang-bang play to win the game, and I don't know how you throw that flag. But uh, really disappointing call that official, but there were other plays in the game that we could have made that it wouldn't have come down to that. And we didn't other calls we could have made. So it's going to be a tough night and uh, we'll get back together tomorrow and regroup and work hard to finish questions. JB, go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, can, can you just talk about whatever happened with the flow of the offense after you guys came out firing up 14 and nothing real fast, and then it just seemed like you couldn't find that that rhythm that you had in the beginning of the game? What what was the result of that? Well, just looking at the stats, we were 2 of 12 on third down. So I think that was the biggest thing, you know, and they were <clears throat> doing a good job in coverage. We had a hard time, you know, getting open. We tried to get open a couple times down the field and gave up some sacks. You know, their defensive end, number six, beat us multiple times, and um, we just didn't get the job done. It was a combination of a lot of things, you know, a lot of things. And uh, But, you know, if you turn the ball over three times and you can't convert on third down, it's hard to find a rhythm. And, and we were in negative yardage situations several times in the second half. Um, so, yeah, you know, we did a poor job after those first two scores. Brian, go ahead. Thanks, um, Coach. Grant Gibson obviously got injured there on that fourth down play down by the goal line. Um, I don't think he came back into the game. What, what was not having him in the game and available? What, what did that do to your offense? Well, it hurts. You know, I mean, Grant's played more football on this team than any player on our roster. I mean, he's a leader. He's a three-time captain. And uh, it hurt not having him in the middle. You know, it forced that. Dylan to move inside and so yeah I mean that's obviously a, a key loss in the game any status Dave. on him no I don't yet thanks David go ahead hey Dave obviously a, a tough night for MJ um you know as a young guy with a long career ahead of him what kind of encouragement can you offer him going forward no I just told him he's going to learn a lot from this film He's going to learn a ton watching it tomorrow, and he'll grow from it. Uh, he'll be better as he moves forward. You know, these kind of mistakes are going to happen with a young quarterback. And, you know, there was a lot of them, not, not just on him, but, you know, wasn't just things that he did. You know, there's things that uh, could have been done to help him more. You know, and I think that's the thing we did really well the last two games. We helped him. You know, we protected for him. And, we got open, we made plays, and just didn't happen tonight. He'll definitely learn from that experience and grow from it and be better because of it. Luke, go ahead. Coach, uh, you honored the seniors before the game, and I know this is a, a tough way to, for this game to end, but how important has the senior class been been to this program, yeah. especially this year? Yeah, they're, they're incredible people, um, incredible. You know, I, I love every one of them. Thankful that uh, they've been in my life and blessed to be their coach. And uh, I hate that we didn't get that win for them tonight. They've done a ton for NC State for this program, and um, they're going to have very successful lives because of the people that they are, not just the players. They're, they're incredible people. James, go ahead. This will be the final question for Coach. Yeah, Dave, um, just your impressions on their quarterback and, and how much did you prepare for him, maybe, and Jerkovic, not really knowing what they were going to do there? 
We had to put, prepare for both guys. And uh, obviously their quarterback made some key plays with his legs and his arm and gave his guys a chance to make plays. And obviously Zay Flowers was a difference maker at 130 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, we knew he was special. We, and uh, the quarterback gave him a chance to win. You know, he did turn the football over a couple times, but we didn't get enough points out of the turnovers that we created. That's it. Thanks.